Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, October 5th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Thursday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. The previous session turning into a decent, strong low here, especially in the NQ, less so in the ES. You can see the decent low that developed yesterday pre market. Price moved away from that level throughout the session, eventually pushed beyond the previous session's midpoint for uh, a brief period of time, did not close beyond it, but it was a really good move. Fade after trend day, back to the mid, and now today here, as we head into the uh, RTH open, we are trading within a narrow range of, of less than 25 points here, 39% of ADR ahead of that econ data. We could be looking at an attempt to recover the previous month's low and previous quarter's low here for a bounce back toward uh, the low end of the range here. That'd be about 43.65. That's the bottom of the key range. That would be a quick bounce back target there. If it can do that, then perhaps we have ourselves a bounce that can take, take hold here that takes us back to 44.50, maybe even across the range toward 45.50 in the weeks ahead so how strong will this low become uh, again if there's a failure here at the previous sessions midpoint that could open up another round of weakness that's been the case here in this very heavily bearish trend these up days have been destroyed the very next day or in the days that follow we could see that play out yet again got to see how the econ data comes out we have initial jobless claims prior to the RTH open by an hour and on Friday, we have non-farm payrolls in addition to a slew of other economic data points. So uh, very bearish Pima trigger zone here. Can price push through and open up a return back to 43.60 in the days ahead? Or does it fail here? At the moment, keeping an eye on this strong low. It's a good placement in the longer term chart. If you look at the longer term chart here and go based off these lows, great, great spot in the chart nice uptrending channel if we can find a low here over the next several days or week however long it takes here we could be looking at a solid return back up the way to end the quarter all right let's take a look here at the NQ now the previous session the NQ saw a significant rejection and return off the lows it was a steady continuation higher throughout the day big time push you can see here 14.6 Big time sharp support area right there. Big bounce back up. Now holding in a narrow range here. 40% of ADR, 108 points. Very narrow right now. Again, ideally bulls look to defend a pullback for a continuation higher today. It could be a check mark trend day higher. Again, pre-market economic data points could push this thing one way or another pretty heavily. Overall, the fact that we have bounced off these lows here could open up a return back to the high. So looking for a continuation into the previous week's high and then we'll watch to see how does it respond there. Does it turn back down within the range or can we see further upside expansion toward the FOMC key level above? That's going to be 15.369 half. Looking at crude oil, wow, what a sell-off or meltdown in the previous session. This thing was down huge in the previous day. Down over 5%. Big time crushing push through the 87 level and a heavy drop into the previous month's midpoint. Big time drop here. 82.35 is the low right now and basically trading right back around the 83.50 level. 83.80 at the moment just pushed through that 83.52 level. That level right there, very important. 84, the edge, very important. If you're looking at the intraday chart right now, especially a five minute chart, something like that. Inverted head and shoulder pattern at the bottom of those uh, lows there and a sharp turnaround that has taken it back through the day's midpoint, the current developing midpoint for the day, and also through intraday VWAP. So this could begin a strong low finally. Uh, this was a weak low here and eventually didn't get that mid. Instead, big time flush now this looking the part a little bit better at least early today so far can this find a low good enough to bounce this thing back up how high can we go 989 would be that next target 
Right here, 84 the edge, 94 the edge, 89 that middle zone. Can it find a way to react and respond to this edge? If so, a bounce back could be seen ahead. If we take a look here at gold futures. Crushing move to the downside in gold as well. And nothing but sideways action the last couple of days. This sell-off from 1950 into 1830 is about as quick as it can happen. I mean, very, very aggressive downtrending price action right here. Price discovery phase right into the previous year's close price. That's at 1830 level. Since then, we've developed a very narrow range. Inside day the previous day. Inside day again right now developing three, uh, three days of super narrow compression here. Today's range already uh, you know nearly 10 points of range and just 48 percent of ADR if we squeeze this up here and look at the three-day compression the 3d compression right here is 40 percent of average you're usually seeing about 40 45 46 points of range we got 18 right now and if we get an expansive move we could be looking at somewhere around 55 points. So somewhere between 45 and 55 points of range could be ahead once we break out from this developing three-day narrow range. Now overall we've nearly made it to recent lows. Nearly made it. Recent lows or actually the lows for the year that is 1810 right there. That's the that's the lows of the year here. We started the year with a rally here here. We're coming back to wipe those out that's going to be right there in the 1810 zone again that's going to be also where year to date v uh, vpoc is for the for cvpoc there you're going to have that value level coming into play here very soon and that is also going to coincide with those lows so likely coming back to that area maybe down into 1810 and can we bounce back or does it fail further into the next lowest area of support which will be quite a bit down there. So overall, narrow range, building some energy, downward trend. If prices were to push higher right now, it could be a failed high with an outside down quality over the next day or two, however it happens, and a downside continuation until we see a strong low. Lastly, looking at the YM, the YM did not form as strong a rejection in the previous session as the NQ. The NQ rallied off the lows, stretched away from those lows very nicely. Whereas the NQ, uh, whereas the YM here bounced and basically went sideways throughout the day. RTY did the same thing. Very digestive today, inside day again ahead of economic data. Two day narrow range. This narrow range could break in either direction. Again, in a very aggressive downtrend, you close higher, failed new high outside day. You close higher, you run the stops. Over here, could be the same. If there's a failure to hold above, say, 33,400, we could be looking at an outside day down situation or a continuation down into the next levels below. Uh, this is a zone here where we could begin to see some bounce perhaps 32.8 again big level right there that could be in place so if we were to see another drop maybe that bounce leads us back up to 33.8 uh, again we're kind of in midair at the moment within a very bearish trend so keeping an eye on 33.4 any failure there could be a, a downside break opportunity if it can push to 33.4 with a price discovery phase that opens up again a return back toward 33.8 up above. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.